my pleasure to introduce Tom Cowan and talk to him on your behalf. When I say that Tom Cowan was the photographer for the Kannada movie Samskara, released in 1970, it speaks volumes. Samskara was the novel that questioned many of our beliefs and left us somewhat disturbed after reading it. The movie too did the same. It was an avant-garde movie, not just for Kannada, but for the Indian cinema itself. It has won many national and international awards. It marked a turning point and led to the new wave movies. Still active, Tom Cowan's film career already stretches 50 years and he has more than 28 movies which, with which he was connected. Love Story Orange, Moment of Truth, and Journey Among Women are some of them. He has been a director of photography, a director and a producer. It is admirable that he maintains a keen interest in Indian cinema. He and his movies have bagged many awards for his cinematography, being best films, etc. Here he is with us today. Tom, welcome to Aussie Indian. Thank you. Shall we start off with uh, Samskara? What was your experience with it? You worked with some of the great people such as uh, your Anantamurti, Girish Karnad, Vasudev, Patabi Ramareddy and others. Please tell us. Well, it was a quite an overwhelming experience for a young fellow. I was 26 and I met Vasudev and somehow he, he introduced me to Patabi Ramareddy and uh, I got on the big adventure of my life, or one of the biggest. Um, I guess uh, it was magical in a way how that film got made. <coughs> Very unusual, as you've mentioned, and uh, I was, uh, but I was ready for it. I think I was primed. I'd been making films f already for about six years. Um, professionally, like I'd been trained by the ABC and then I worked for the Australian government. And, um, really, I suppose the overwhelming thing was that uh, that novel struck me as being so powerful, uh, beautifully constructed, mm -hmm. uh, dramatically riveting, really. And uh, when I heard it, I was sitting in the sand on the beach at Cholomandel in down below Madras, Vasudev told me the story, and I thought, well, I would, I would really like to work on a film like that, and I suggested I should make the tea or something, and he um, said, I'll introduce you to Patabi Ramareddy because I know he's looking mm -hmm. for a director of photography. Oh, I said, right, well, mm. anyway, luckily for me, Patabi was able to see some of my work from the High Commission. Uh, supplied by the Australian government and uh, he sent me a letter which I got in Bombay to say come quickly we're making the film and I got on the train and two days later I was back in Madras and then we we started to uh, work on it and um, I worked on the the shooting script and this this sort of screenplay with Batabi for about a month where we worked out every shot and that was the template really we sort of made the film in madras but then we went and shot the film on location in sringeri and of course that's got a big part to do with it the art direction of vasudev it's um it was a marvelously picturesque and um dramatic place the the location just above this beautiful river and huge steps going down and we could uh, we could focus on the faces of these uh, striking Brahmins and their drama and uh, but framed in that marvelous location mm -hmm. so I was very lucky very very lucky that Patabi uh, and I hit it off and that he he asked me to do the film and uh, of course now I go back to Bangalore quite often and 
I made another film with him from one of Lankesh's plays in the 70s and um, I've got lots of friends there and we had a reunion very recently um, where, where the film was shown at the Academy and Anantha Murthy spoke and I spoke and uh, they're making a film about the making of Samskara, <laughs> which is like 43 years later, the, ma the making of. So we went back to all the locations and met all the people. And Srinivasan uh, Sringitam uh, came to Madras and talked and Girish talked, Anantamurti talked, Vasudev talked and um, the guy that got the award as the best supporting actor. Uh, no, Jai Ram, Jai Ram yeah. spoke about his experiences, marvellous character and a marvellous performance. So, yes, um, to answer your original question, <laughs> it was the uh, most uh, extraordinary and um, un unrepeatable experience. Oh, that's good that you liked it and uh, obviously you were more than a photographer for the movie. <laughs> Uh, yes, I've got a credit on the screen yeah. adaption, and um, yeah, I, I guess with uh, Singitam uh, as a team, we uh, were the main professionals. None of the other people, apart from the production manager and Patabi, had ever made a film before, so they didn't quite know what we were doing. Um, yeah, I see that, you know, it was a very daring movie in some sense. Now, 50 years after Samskara, I, I know you are still active. And uh, may I ask, what are your uh, present projects? Uh, well, currently I'm finishing up a feature that I've directed and written called Life Class, um, set in 1920. And it, it's about a French artist who comes to Australia and tries to introduce art into a small country town. So that creates controversy. It's a sort of an uh, examination of the effects of the First World War on a small country town and how uh, art and the imagination may make things able to be lived a bit more abundantly. May I draw your attention to a Kannada movie released recently. It is Thallana, made by our friend Sudarshan. And you may know that uh, it has won two awards from the government of Karnataka. One as the best movie of the year and the second one for the best actress. What are your impressions on the movie? Well, I was very happy to see that movie because uh, I've seen a lot of Canada movies over the years and even recently and it's quite um, a big improvement on most Canada films. And, um, yes, I was really uh, thrilled to see such a carefully made, um, tasteful movie. I thought it was uh, well, very well judged and uh, especially the performances were mm -hmm. marvellously directed and I'm not surprised that it got an award for the acting um, and best film too. I mean, obviously, it's a cut above. Um, and I recommend people to, to see that movie. It's, um, yeah, I I'm, I'm just met um, Sudarshan and I'm very, I can see uh, his quality as a person that comes out in the film too. It's just, um, it, it really is uh, quite realistic, I think, but done with a very artistic eye. Very good. Now, may I ask you a very general question? What are your thoughts about uh, cinema of today uh, in the light of, say, Siddhartha, which has been just released, Gone Girls, Magic in Midnight, Lunchbox, etc.? So. Yeah, well, I, um, it's marvellous to see these films coming out. I thought uh, maybe when I was there in the early 70s, that it would, would happen, you know, then. It's taken 40 years for it to really happen. But I thought, you know, because India has so much to offer in terms of story and 
background and history uh, and 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 art it has so much to offer the thing that appeals to me of course is um the vitality i find there and um so many of the art films are disappointing in that they are very very serious explorations of problems but the vitality is not there you know i know that people live in terrible conditions but there's always some sort of <clears throat> drive and um, vi uh, vivaciousness they might mm -hmm. do a few dance steps or they might you know and um, I'm glad that Sadarshan had uh, a touch of that in his film um, so the anyway lunchbox and those sort of films uh, what's her husband's name of yeah. the big actor <laughs> one of the Khans anyway yeah. Uh, he's uh, done a number of films, like uh, Three Idiots, which he starred in and directed, or he was the producer anyway. They're, they're really interesting films. For, you know, two-thirds of the movie, it was superb. It's a bit disappointing that it ran out of steam at the end, but marvellous, and he's done other um, art movies. There are... Do you think there are two categories of movies, commercial movies and the art movies? Mm. I rather think that there are good and bad movies. <laughs> um, and we're going back to something about Samskara, we didn't know that we were making a breakthrough film. We were just doing the best we could. And to me, that that's our story and that script. And that location and those characters just needed the treatment we were giving it. We had no idea that we would set off a new wave or anything like that. Um, and so I think um, that if films are approached in that way, uh, it's more important than whether they're deemed to be commercial or not. Samskara actually did quite well commercially. Okay, th thanks. Uh, thanks very much for correcting me, Tom. <laughs> uh, so, thank you very much, Tom. It was a pleasure talking to you.